suburban politician Tiffany Hilliard threw a bash this weekend. She's trying to silence her critics amidst an ongoing federal investigation into her spending and leadership. All right, folks, buckle up because Mayor Tiffany Henyard is in the spotlight once again. This time, it's for throwing a jaw-dropping $85,000 party that's got everyone buzzing. With her town drowning in millions of dollars of debt, she's been using taxpayer money for extravagant events that seem more about the Instagram than the community. But her days of evading scrutiny are over leaked footage of Henyard's lavish party has just surfaced online. Tiffany strikes again, so, here's the scoop, Henyard, the mayor of Dalton Village and Thornton Township, thought it would be a great idea to host a huge event called Taste of Thornton Township featuring a rapper and an RB artist, but her colleagues were far from impressed and have now cancelled any future events. Yikes! Despite the backlash, Henyard seemed to be having a blast at the event. She even posted videos on social media, dancing and singing along to the music. Meanwhile, the rest of the town was left scratching their heads, wondering what was going on. One former trustee didn't hold back, calling the whole event a flop. Ouch. In a now cringe-worthy Facebook post from mid-August, Henyard hyped herself up as the super mayor and people's mayor proclaiming that there was always something happening. But it looks like this particular event wasn't quite the hit her team hoped for. Things took an even messier turn with the taste of Thorntown Township extravaganza. Henyard and her administration went all out, spending tens of thousands of dollars. They dropped $30,000 on an RB performance by Kiki Wyatt and another $20,000 on rapper Jay Holiday Yup. $50,000 just for entertainment. According to Ween, the town also spent $6,600 on bouncy houses, plus additional funds for a sound system, staff, and equipment. When you add it all up, the total bill came to over $85,000. And all this was for an event with just 65 to 70 people. But wait, there's more. On September 1, 2024, Tiffany hosted yet another party this time at a skating rink. But not just any rink, it was part of a $269,000 commission project. The drama didn't stop there. When investigates had to sue Dalton to obtain Henyard's administration's credit card records. When those records were finally revealed, they uncovered a staggering $177,000 spent at a roller skate wholesaler. Yes, $177,000 on roller skates, while the town's finances are in disarray. It's almost unbelievable. I'm thinking that's for the roller skates that the uh, residents never got a chance to use. Steve Tammy Brown didn't hold back when it came to criticizing the ice rink. She called out Henyard for pushing so hard for the rink, only for it to be barely used and poorly maintained. To make matters worse, Skycam 9 flew over on a beautiful Friday evening, typically a time you'd expect the rink to be bustling with activity. Instead, it was almost deserted. All that money invested in the project, and it's turned into a ghost town. It's clear that Henyard's big plans have received a frosty reception. No, doesn't make sense to me. Aren't there some actual local bands that would love to get an opportunity that probably would have played for free? Yeah, probably. But that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're doing a couple of artists. These artists were both born in 84 and 83, 82 and 84. Tiffany Henyard is born in 83. So this is the genre of music that she grew up up with and this is what she wanted to have at the township of Thornton, their big event. <laughs> Let's be clear, none of these expenses were necessary. If Tiffany wanted to host a party to lift people's spirits, she could have showcased local talent. Instead, she opted for what would look best on Instagram. But hold on Mayor Henyard wasn't taking any of the criticism lying down. At the event, she insisted that everything was done for the kids, really. And if that wasn't enough, she even referred to herself in the third person, saying, They don't show you this side of Tiffany Henyard the productive side, she also claimed that the money for the event came from her own pocket. But many people find that hard to believe. Henyard argued that the reason for the backlash was because the event was labeled as a Friends of Tiffany Henyard picnic, which is also the name of her political campaign. Clearly, the event was a PR move, especially given the recent allegations and the serious image issues she's been facing. Despite any potential boost in productivity, the party failed to attract much of a crowd, and the community is not pleased. Former Dalton trustee Valeria Stubbs came forward and labeled the entire event a flop. We have to use our tax dollars to promote ourselves. She have all of these events 
trying to buy the vote. Local resident, Jennifer Roberts, didn't hold back either. She told when she was completely stunned when she learned the extent of the spending. Her exact words were, I was pissed off, that's my money, that's the people's money. Dalton resident Sher Britton said Tiffany is a narcissist, she's going to do whatever she wants to do, I feel like she knows this is over but she's going to go down kicking and screaming like an mm a fighter it's not going to stop until they put cuffs on her honestly this situation is dripping with drama overspending and plenty of community skepticism it looks like tiffany's days of extravagant parties might be coming to an end she's facing even more scrutiny for allegedly misusing taxpayer funds with subpoenas already served in both Dalton and Thornton Township as part of a federal investigation. This is some serious legal drama. A lot of the controversy is centered in Dalton, where Henyard has been in charge. Some locals are so frustrated they're calling her a full-on dictator, no sugarcoating involved. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lori Lightfoot even conducted a report that revealed some shocking spending by the village. For instance, Dalton splurged an eye-watering $43,000 on Amazon in just one day. Seriously, what are they buying? Meanwhile, the village's funds are running dangerously low. But the issues go beyond financial mismanagement. Henyard's leadership style is creating major rifts on the boards of Dalton and Thornton Township. Things have become so heated that another clash occurred at a recent meeting. It's like watching a reality TV showdown unfold in real life. I in the latest development, the trustees have outright refused to approve several upcoming events. Citing Henyard's reckless spending, a trio of trustees voted to cancel events including the Gospel Fest House Fest and even Bingo. Yes Bingo! The town is now operating without an officially approved budget, which is causing even more chaos. Trustee Chris Gonzalez didn't hold back, making it clear that the situation is dire. We can't continue to spend money without that in place, he really went after Henyard, highlighting how the town has squandered an astonishing amount of money in just the past month alone. The trustees even rejected payments for other essential items and services, making it clear they are fed up with the extravagant spending. Of course, Henyard wasn't going to take this criticism quietly. According to CBS Chicago, she fired back at her colleagues, accusing them of stalling progress in Thornton Township and not contributing any new ideas. She bluntly told them that they were blocking her team's efforts while bringing nothing to the table. It's like watching a political showdown turned reality TV drama. Honestly, Tiffany's time for reckoning has been a long time coming. Her lavish lifestyle has led to serious issues, including the local bank demanding that the village close its account and find a new banking partner. When your own bank tells you it's done with you, you know the situation is dire. And to top it off, the village has just 60 days to sort this out two months to move whatever funds they can to a new bank. The financial situation is so dire that even the bank is waving the white flag dot beyond the extravagant spending. Tiffany is also accused of refusing to sign critical checks totaling millions of dollars. When Jason House, the mayor pro tem, stepped in to resolve the issue, Tiffany's team allegedly called the bank and claimed the signatures on the checks were forgeries. The mess continues to deepen, leaving the town scrambling to get its financial affairs in order. <laughs> It's no surprise the bank backed out in the end. Tiffany Henyard's actions are a huge blow to the people of Dalton. Spending $85,000 on a party while the village is deep in millions of dollars of debt is incredibly out of touch. To make matters worse, Tiffany had the nerve to do this while she's under federal investigation. Everyone is questioning how long authorities will allow Tiffany to continue her reckless behavior. As one person put it, she has bankrupted the entire city and still giving away food and renting bouncy houses for kids to play on and spending $155,000 on roller skates she needs to understand she is breaking the law jail is her future meanwhile. Another person wrote how long will it take for the state of Illino to arrest a criminal the world may never know what are your thoughts on the situation. How long do you think Tiffany will continue to run her own show before facing any consequences? Share your opinions in the comments below.